Hi everyone, so what we're going to be doing now is we're going to actually have the user log into their account. So um, we first want to be able to register them. So let's look at how we can register a user. So we need to import a few more things up here at the top. Let's see on the documentation here. If we go to um, Google and let's look for registration, email. So right over here, we need this thing called create user with email and password. So this is where we can actually set up the user's email and password and then store it within Firebase. And we want to double check in Firebase to make sure that it's all set up properly. So let's just get started on the sign in with email and password. And we could set up the on auth state changed as well. Um, let's first do the create user with email and password though. So at the top here, I'll just add it. Now what we need to do is we do need to add in um, a use state because we need to start handling some information. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a use state for register email and set register email. And we need to register a password as well. So in order to actually set up this registration, we do need to set up a function for registering. So let's set up the register. And we're using async because we want to wait until the information is actually grabbed. And once we grab the information, we want to try something to make sure that we can actually do something with information or catch it to see if we can catch any errors that happen along the way. So what we're doing here is whenever someone registers, we just want to first set it to empty because if there's someone else that's saved there, it'll just clear it first. And then after that, it'll do the async await and it will then look for um, to create the user and password by grabbing the authentication first to make sure we could grab like grab the information and store it in the database and Firebase. And then we also want to be able to grab that information that will be stored in register email and register password in our use state at the top there. But in order to do this, we need to first actually set up the form in order to register the user. So let's start setting up the form right down here. I'm just gonna set up, set up the template and then we'll add the stylizing a bit later.
So all we're going to be doing is we're going to add an input field and basically whenever the user uh, enters in the information and then submits the information, we want to be able to store that information in the use state at the top. And we'll do, so one is for email and the other one is for password. And we'll just move this uh, registration by email. And then we'll just move this registration by email inside the form. So it's part of the form. And we'll also set up a button, a separate button. So either they can sign up by email or by um, Google sign in. So we'll do register user. On click, we will um, call that register function at the top. So register should be right up here, register. And we want to be able to use it down here. Whenever we click on this register button, it will automatically trigger it because it will set the information already in the input field as we're typing. And then once we click on the button, it will register that user and then store it inside the actual um, Firebase. So if we go over here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna make sure it's authenticated first, then it'll grab that register email and register password. That It'll grab the single register email and single register password that is stored up here in the use state. And since it has been stored here, it will then um, automatically connect to Firebase and it will create that username and password or that email It'll register, it'll add that email and password into the Firebase database. So let's also console log out the user just so we could see what's going on. So we'll save that and then we'll go back to the browser. And this is what it should look like so far. So let's try actually doing something. Let's do test at test.com. And then we'll add in a password. It has to be a minimum of six characters. So either letters or um, numbers. Um, it's up to you. But like I'm just going to add six um, numbers here. And I'll click register user. Let's double check the database. We might be missing one thing. So in authentication, let's go to users. Okay, so we do have it here. So you can see here we got test at test.com and it has been added to Firebase. So we can always log back in, which I'll show you in another video how to actually log the user in by grabbing the information from online. But you can see here that we have actually registered the user.